Happy Sunday loves or whichever day of the week you guys are watching this video. Welcome to all my newbies and welcome back to my oldies but my goodies. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. We will be refreshing the living room. So we're going to dust down everything and just straighten up just to give the home a nice refresh before we head into the weekend. I hope you guys are having a beautiful Sunday. If you guys are cleaning with me or you just decide to sit back, relax and watch me, I hope you enjoy today's video. I just want to give a special thank you to all of you that decided to click on this video and spend a little time with me. You guys could be doing anything else, but you decided to hang out with your girl and for that, I am so, so, so grateful. I can't tell you guys enough how much I appreciate y'all and I appreciate all of the support that you guys give me and showing up and commenting in the comment section. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate every single one of you so much. Thank you once again for just hanging with your girl and supporting your girl and motivating your girl to keep on going. Because today's video is more of a refresh instead of a deep clean, we're really gonna just be dusting down and tidying up the space. I usually clean my home frequently, so I just need to get rid or keep the dust under control because I have a lot of black furniture pieces and dust shows up a lot. So we're going to do a lot of dusting and just wiping everything down of course and just making the home feel and smell fresh so i'm dealing with my bar area and i didn't move all of the bottles off of it because they were just too heavy so i decided to leave them on as i dusted and wiped down well, i'm going back to wipe down because i forgot to wipe <laughs> so i'm going to dust down the, tel the table and just wipe everything down and then I'm going to add a little bit of decor, just rearrange some stuff so that it looks a little different. How are you guys doing? Leave it down in the comments. I wanna know how you guys are doing. How is life treating you? What are your plans on this beautiful Sunday? When I'm recording this, it's actually through the week. <laughs> I don't like to clean on the weekend, but what do you guys have up for the upcoming week for me? My weekend is we're gonna go out and chill, have some brunch days and just relax. My weekends are usually all about relaxing and quality time with my family and just chilling out so what do you guys have planned on this beautiful sunday or for the upcoming week A little hack for when you're not using fresh flowers and you want the stems to stay in place just go ahead and add some newspaper inside it you can also add a smaller vase into it but I like to add a smaller vase when I'm adding water for fresh flowers or fresh stems so newspaper will do just fine you can just press the stems in very firmly in the position you want them to stay in and it definitely works I'm thinking about changing the color of the walls in the living room. I was thinking about turning it into this, it's like a creamy brownish green. I can't remember the color. When I remember it, I'll place it on the screen for you guys. But it's a greenish brownish color and it's really, really 
earthy but very calming to me and I fell in love with that color and I'm trying to figure out if it would fit into my space if I can find an example of it I'll also place it on the screen for you guys so what do you guys think just repaint the walls white or should I try another color To clean down all of my tabletops, I'm just dusting it first with my Swifter Duster. Then I'm going in with the Pink Stuff Window Spray and some napkins. And I always use a window spray to clean down my tabletops because I find that it's not so harsh. And it also gives my table that light shine that I want. So if you guys have never tried it before, maybe you should give it a try unless you just like using your all-purpose cleaner i don't like the way my tables look when i use an all-purpose cleaner they eat it too greasy or sticky and i don't like that so i find that a glass cleaner does a amazing job with the amount of shine as well as the cleanliness on the tabletops For my decor pieces, I have yet to find a very large sculptural piece to put under this table. But for now, we're just going to add some magazines. So if you want to sit down and read something, we have a lot of magazines of, right now, different places to travel. <laughs> and a few with home decor and I think one with some fashion. So I'm just going to add that back under the table as well as my moss bowl. And that's going to be my decor for that open area under my coffee table. For the top of my coffee table, I'm actually going down with some new finds from Yusk as well as Teddy. If you guys did not watch my most recent curated home decor haul, definitely head over to check that out. I'm also going to create a video of me playing with these new pieces, probably a coffee table decor video i should put that up before this one but if it's not it will be after this video but if not it's before it's the most recent video so the bowl is from yusk the vase is also from yusk my books are from amazon the candle pieces and that tray is from a local store and the faux flowers are from teddy but if you guys want to see me playing with some home decor that video should be up or coming soon
to clean my couch, I'm just going in with the vacuum and I only use this small vacuum head for our beds as well as the couch, but I do want to invest in a smaller handheld vacuum that's specifically for the couch and our beds. So if you guys have any recommendations, please leave them down below for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I'm all only going to be vacuuming the couch since it's fairly new, and then I'm going to go in with my Sagraton disinfectant, and I'm just going to clean that down with a cloth a dry cloth so i'm going to spray it with the sagraton then clean it down with a dry cloth and then i'm going to spray it down with some febreze just to make it smell nice and fresh i did not record me wiping it down with the sagraton or spraying it with the febreze so i'm just letting you guys know what else i did um, to clean the couch or freshen the couch up
to complete freshening up the entire space we're going to vacuum and then we're going to mop for my mop i like to use boiling hot water i know not everybody likes that but i love to use boiling hot water because it keeps my mop fresh it freshens up the floor it kills a lot of bacteria as well as it dries quickly so I love that it dries quickly when I use extremely hot water so that's one of the reasons why I like a really hot mop as well but of course if you don't use warm water or I guess cold water if you want to my bucket I always add vinegar as well as some essential oils it will either be an orange essential oil or a lemon essential oil along with my floor cleaner the essential oils are just for that added scent if I'm using a lemon scented um, floor cleaner then I'm going in with a citrus kind of scent to amplify it if you understand what I mean and that's usually how I mop or what I add into my mop Lastly, I'm just going to fold up our blankets that we usually keep on the couch. One is for myself and then the thinner one is for my husband because he's always warm, y'all. It could be snowing outside and most of the time he's warm. <laughs> but it has been warmer recently so we haven't really been using them but I like to keep them on the couch so that I can spread it on the couch when I want to just lounge out and I'm not just lounging on the couch itself. So that's one of the reasons I love to have a blanket on the couch as well. We have reached the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some motivation. I hope you just enjoyed my company and I hope to see you guys in my next video. So until then, you guys have a beautifully blessed week. Y'all stay safe out there and I will see y'all in the next one. I'll be the same.